This week on John Thielen's Destination Fish, we get after a finicky walleye bite based around finding that spot on a spot. Then we chase down midwinter crappies, revealing tactics and locations guaranteed to work on a sheet of ice near you. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fishing Tackle, Striker, and L&M Fleet Supply. Man, there's a fair amount of slush on the lakes. A little bit of wind out here, but we're, we're set up, we're warm, we're ready to go. I think we're gonna have a pretty good day today. We've had stable weather for a couple days, and whenever I see stable weather, same thing, day after day after day, I tend to feel by day three, man, the fishing can be pretty doggone good, and it's gonna plummet tomorrow, it's gonna get colder, and that's gonna slow fishing down for a day or two, so I figured I'd better get on the ice today. Here he comes, he's gonna hit something. It looks like he's he's on the bobber rod. There, he grabbed it. He's just, look at how slow he's taking that down. There, he's got it, got him. Yeah, it feels like a, oh, he got off, look at that. Let's get right back down there, let's hope we got bait. If we got bait, we'll get him bited again. This time we're gonna get him, got him. Same fish, no doubt in my mind, same fish. Heck yeah. Nice walleye. Come here, buddy. Good fish. Look at that. That right there is an awesome fish. We'll take that all day long, man. That's just awesome when a fish will come up like that. He hit it. I watched him hit it the first time and take it down and I set the hook on him and I thought sure that I was had him good enough and I didn't. And you know, sometimes what'll happen on those deals is they're just sucking on it and you can't really tell you set the hook and get a little unlucky every now and then with that. That's a great walleye anywhere you go. Hey, here's what we're gonna talk about today. I'll give you an idea. It's five to 11. We're gonna talk about spots and how to pick them and how to pick more importantly than just the, the spot, the spot on the spot and how to make sure that you're sitting in the areas where fish like that one right there are gonna see you. This is the time of the year where I vacate that shoreline stuff and I start looking at those first structures, second structures out off of shore. Because ultimately what's happened is a lot of those fish have left those shorelines. So that's not to say that you're not gonna get a few fish in on those shorelines, but if you're looking to catch numbers and keep up with the best fish, you're gonna find that you're gonna need to move to these types of structures. So just look for that stuff that, you know, one, two, three miles off the shoreline. And what you're gonna find out is a lot of those fish left the shorelines, they found some deep water, they kept moving, and then they found a spot to feed like what we're sitting on right here, just a more of a mid-lake type of structure. These first two, three sets of structures off the shore are just deadly. Just got him. Ooh, he came up and hit the jig rod. Did you see that? I was just picking up the dead stick to see if he would follow it up, and he smacked this jig rod. On the Mega Live, you'll see a hump down on the bottom. That's a boulder. Look at that. This fish right here got in behind that boulder. And I mean, you can see it down there on the Mega Live. And I knew when I set up, I was looking around, but I saw this boulder and I set up thinking I was pretty close to it. Well, doggone it, I'm really close to it. I'm just a few feet away from it. Fish like that one right there, they'll key on stuff like that. And that's exactly what this fish did. He came in, I watched him circle and he didn't bite anything. So I picked up that dead stick and I just tried to lift it up a little bit. And right when I did that, he darted up. I watched him dart from behind that boulder and smoked that quiver spoon. That is really, really cool. That is just awesome. Hey, I wanna tell you a little bit about what I'm using, how I'm set up today. On the jig stick, I'm gonna lift it out of here right now. Eighth ounce rattling quiver spoon on that one. Great fish, I'm gonna let this guy go. But this rattling quiver spoon, the reason I'm using that is because what we're trying to do, especially with the time of the day we're fishing here, what we're trying to do is get their attention. So two things there, we're making noise, and we're putting that flutter down there. And then on top of it, we're just putting a bunch of flash down there. LM Fleet Supply is your Northland Ice Fishing Headquarters. I'm here with Jackson Shower to hear about this week's hot deals. We do have some great deals this week, John. 
How about an Eskimo Fatfish 949i insulated pop-up portable, regularly $349.99, on sale for $299.99, and an Eagle Claw rod case, regularly $59.99, running at the hot price of $39.99 this week. Check out this week's LM Ice Flyer for some great sale pricing in-store or online at lmsupply.com. Alumalite fish houses are the most durable, lightweight fish houses on the market today. Constructed from high-grade aluminum with spray foam interiors, Alumalite houses are easy to tow with a four-wheeler, snowmobile, or side-by-side. -side. Alumalite offers various sizes of houses along with custom build options. Alumalite fish houses are efficient and affordable, making them the most comfortable hard house option for reeling in fish all winter long. To find a complete listing of sizes, options, and your nearest dealer, visit SoderBloom.com. The Jaws of Ice Auger Carrier is made for the angler who goes further to catch fish. Designed to easily mount on snowmobiles, side-by-sides, and four-wheelers, the Jaws of Ice is compatible with nearly every ice auger on the market today. Its simple locking jaw design provides a solid and safe ride across the ice. Upon arrival, the easy release system allows you to get right to work drilling holes and finding fish. The Jaws of Ice is the last auger carrier you will ever need. For more information, visit jawsofice.net. Command the cold this season with the Heat Hog Portable Propane Heater. Available in three sizes, making it perfect for any hunting blind or fish house. This is the only product available that tilts so you can warm your core and not just your feet. The curved plaque provides a wider heating area and the tank heating dock keeps propane cylinders warm, delivering twice the runtime per cylinder. Keep your hunting blind warm all fall and your fish house warm all winter with the Heat Hog, designed in Minnesota by people who know cold. Tell you what, with the wind blowing as hard as it's blowing today, you really gotta keep your heater cranking. But I'll tell you what, one thing that I think is really cool is if you look down here at my feet, you notice that I don't have any water down there, even though that heater's sitting right here. And the reason is, I'm using this heat hog heater, and what's great about this one is you have the ability to tip it. So I've actually got it tipped at an angle, and what it's doing is pushing all that heat up toward me, so I'm getting all the heat up here in my body where I want it, and I'm not standing in a puddle of water. There he is. That one just darted out again. Man, I'll tell you, finding these little spots can make such a big difference versus just being in an area. Oh, look at that. Good fish. Look at that one right there. That right there. That right there, it's an awesome sauger. But man, these little spots, it can make such a big difference versus just pulling up and parking on a reef and thinking, okay, they're gonna come through here at one point or another. Picking these high percentage spots out off, the, out off an edge, off an edge that is gradual. Maybe it's some rubble, maybe it's an inside turn, but always look for that added extra thing, that spot on the spot, because fish like that one right there, that's what they're looking for. That's where they eat. Man, just a couple of years ago, I never would have believed it that there would come a point where I'd be looking at two sonar units in the winter. I've had that Humminbird, those Helix 7s for a long time, but now I've added a Helix 8 and I'm looking at a Mega Live as well. And, and man, I'll tell you, it's helping me catch more fish. But one of the biggest things that comes out of that is the power sources. We need more power source. And I'm using all amped lithium batteries. And, and when it comes down to it, Amped Outdoors is known for building the most power into the smallest case size of their batteries. That's why I choose to run the amped lithium batteries. I think he's got that bobber rod. Yeah, he does. Saw this guy come in and I was messing around with stuff other than fishing for a minute. <laughs> Feels like a good one. Definitely gonna be a pale fish. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Nice walleye. Look at that one. Great fish. Look at that. <laughs> How cool is that? This is the dog days of winter. This is supposed to be that time 
where fishing's tough, and I'm gonna let you in on a little something. Most people are saying right now that it's a little bit tough. But the reason I'm catching these fish today is because we're parked in the right place. There's another one, he had a buddy with him. He's right on the jig stick right now. I'm gonna throw this thing in here. Let's see if we can get this one to bite. We just bumped it. There he is, got him. <laughs> awesome, awesome. <laughs> that is cool. He had a buddy with him, I just looked down and I saw him while we were hanging onto that fish talking about that one. And this one nails it. Look at that, another great eye. Look at this. Same size, same, probably same doggone year class. Traveling together, just eating. <laughs> this one nailed the quiver spoon, look at that. A dead stick fish on the frosty jigging spoon. Followed up by a quiver spoon fish. I mean, they'll travel together like that, but here's what just happened. You wanna talk about capitalizing on fish coming in to eat, we just got them both. Both of these fish were here for the same reason. They were here to eat and they both ended up in the, in the bucket. All right. Man, was that a great day of walleye fishing. Hey, before we go, I wanna take just a minute and tell you a little bit about this Striker Apex suit you see me wearing today. This suit is Striker's top of the line. It's simply lighter, warmer, and more comfortable than any other suit on the market today. The Apex suit features Primaloft cross-core insulation that has built-in heat map technology to keep you warm, while the cross-flow venting system provides the ultimate in breathability, ensuring you will not break out in a cold sweat while on the move. 150 grams of sure float technology will keep you afloat if the unfortunate fall through the ice were to happen. While the three point adjustable hood and magnetic storm flap closures keep you warm and windproof in any conditions. Add to all of this, the premium waterproof zippers and the convenience of line cutter zipper pulls and you have the ultimate ice fishing suit. The Striker Apex suit is truly top of the line. For more information about this great suit or the entire Striker lineup, you can check them out at your favorite retailer or online at strikerbrands.com. And hey, stay right where you're at. There's another great ice fishing adventure coming up on John Thielen's Destination Fish. Hi, this is Greg from Outdoors Again in Bidette, Minnesota. I'd like to personally invite you to stop in and visit us here at Outdoors Again, where we carry the largest selection of fishing tackle, bait, firearms, and ammo in northern Minnesota. We are the home of the Jig Buffet. We are conveniently located on Highway 11 in downtown Bidette with plenty of parking to accommodate boats, wheelhouses, and trailers. We are your one-stop shop for all of your outdoor needs, including bait, tackle, firearms, ammo, and much, much more. We look forward to seeing you here at Outdoors Again. Keep your fishing and hunting gear secure and dry as you travel across the ice to hot spots or along the gravel roads to your favorite hunting grounds. The Nomad UTV Topper is constructed from lightweight, high-grade aluminum with lids that include lockable latches and gas shocks. Full-size and low-profile configurations are available for the Polaris Ranger and the Can-Am Defender. Nomad UTV Toppers are made to fit any adventure. For more information, check them out at your favorite dealer or online at nomadmn.com. 
Since 2002, Cold Snap Outdoors has been creating innovative products that make ice fishing more enjoyable. Snap-on auger covers protect your auger blades while providing an easy and fast snap-on and off system. Simply use your toe to hold the cover and pop the auger out. The toothpick is the easiest hook removal system for panfish and walleye alike. Slide the notch down the hook and turn. Hooks are removed with no damage to expensive tungsten jigs or larger jigging spoons. To learn more about the entire Cold Snap lineup, visit your local retailer or coldsnapoutdoors.com. Midwinter crappies can get tough to catch when winter hits its deep freeze. Up next, we'll show you locations and tactics to beat the chill and fill a pail with wintertime slabs. John Thielen's Destination Fish is brought to you by Lindy Fishing Tackle, Striker, and L&M Fleet Supply. Looks like a decent fish coming up. You can see him on the bottom. There's fish milling around. They're just not to that point yet where they're firing. But they're here. Ooh, that one looks like he might be a decent fish. He's coming hot. He's gonna hit it. There he is, got him. That one came from a long ways and you could just tell that that fish was gonna hit it. Good crappie. Good crappie. Look at that. Holy smokes, is that cool. We just got out here, just got everything set up. And I'll tell you, these fish are gonna fire it. I just got a real good feeling about it. We've got high pressure and we've had it for a couple days now. It's warmed up and all of a sudden these fish, they're just gonna get more active at this time of the year. All of a sudden you, after a deep freeze like we've had, you know, you get these January deep freezes and, and I'll tell you what, they can be hard on fishing. But as soon as you start seeing things change and all of a sudden it starts warming up a little bit, fish like that, they're gonna get active. And boy, this guy, I mean, you'd see him coming. I mean, he came a long ways. I watched him on that mega live coming in from a long ways off to the side, 15, 20 feet. And he just kept coming and coming and coming. Great way to start. talk about baits because I just made a quick little change. This is the time where the crappies are going to be the least active. Look at this one. Nice fish. Look at that. They're going to be the least active right now of the whole season. Okay. During the coldest time of the year. Okay. So when you get a day like this where you get that little bit of January thaw, great time to be all crappie fishing, but something else to point out. I'm going to pop that out of his mouth show you that fish and then I want to show you something because you know what a quick change made this fish bite this is a tungsten toad now here's the thing about this tungsten toad that is really really cool that little tungsten jig right there comes in three different sizes a size 14 a size 12 and the size I'm using right now a 10 and that signifies the size of the hook okay when I'm fishing crappies that's when I use the size 10 because they've got a bigger mouth, so I'm gonna use that little bit bigger hook. And then what I did, I just switched and put this down there because I've caught the first couple of fish on a rattling flyer spoon. And what that is, that's a 16th ounce rattling flyer spoon. I mean, I would call this, when it comes to crappies, the aggressive side. That rattling flyer spoon's got a rattle in it, glides out to the side of the hole a little bit. If you've got fish just coming in and looking like these though, don't be afraid to just grab that tungsten toad rod sitting right next to you and drop this down because I'll tell you what, a lot of times they just need something a little bit more subtle, maybe a little bit smaller. There he's got him. Uh, well, they're starting to get active. I'll tell you that for sure. All these fish are starting to fire. Yeah, good eater size crow. Look at that one. Not a giant, but a heck of a dinner fish anywhere you go. Got him back on the rattling flyer spoon. It's just that case of switching back and forth and keep going back and forth. And you know what, sooner or later, you're gonna find what each little specific pot of fish wants. Hey, real quick, well, I got this rod up here. One thing I wanna show you, when I'm fishing a spoon that's got a rattle in it, like a rattling flyer spoon, I wanna barely be moving that spoon, okay? but I want to be able to engage the rattle. So I'm using a 32 inch tuned up custom fusion. This fusion's got a little bit stiffer tip and it's the perfect rod for fishing a spoon 
when it comes to small spoons for panfish. When I'm dropping that tungsten toad down, that's when I'm going to the precision noodle. And the idea behind this is this rod is designed specifically for fishing a tungsten jig. And when that crappie grabs a hold of this, he doesn't even feel that tip, but yet I can see it. So there's no need for a spring bobber. And when I set that hook, I've got that little bit of backbone that you really need because it's such a fast action rod. We are l &M. We are a third generation family owned business that has proudly served the Northland for over 60 years. We carry products that cater to the communities surrounding our stores. We service what we sell and we can equip you with everything you need for your next outdoor adventure. We are family. We are l &M Fleet Supply. Lake of the Woods is the premier ice fishery in the Midwest, and Zippel Bay Resort on the South Shore is the place to experience all it has to offer. Zippel Bay offers plowed road access, day and sleeper fish house rentals, deluxe log cabins, and a great food menu in the lodge. The world-famous On Ice Igloo Bar offers fun for everyone, serving food and drinks in a setting like no other. Wheelhouses are welcome, and the fishing is great throughout the extended Lake of the Woods ice season. Plan your next ice fishing trip to Zippel Bay Resort. Ice fishing electronics are getting bigger and better all the time. And along with that, they're pulling more power than ever. Amped Outdoors is the leader in lithium power technology, providing the highest capacity per size in the industry. Amped Outdoor lithium batteries are available in a variety of sizes to fit your power needs. And their batteries are built with the ice fishermen in mind. Amped Outdoors is based right in the heart of the ice belt in Hudson, Wisconsin, and they provide world-class customer support. Change the way you outdoors with Amped Outdoors lithium batteries. At Bemidji Sports Center, we have everything you need to get serious about fun. As one of the Midwest's largest power sports dealers, we offer sales, service, and parts for industry-leading brands including Ski-Doo and Polaris snowmobiles, as well as Can-Am and Polaris off-road products. We also stock Triton utility trailers and a huge selection of Alumalite fish houses. Stop in to see our extensive inventory at our convenient Highway 71 location in Bemidji, Minnesota, or check us out online at BemidjiSportsCenter.com. Get on the ice earlier and stay later with the all-new Alumalite Odyssey Wheelhouse. The Odyssey is constructed with a full aluminum frame and a proven spray foam interior, making it extremely lightweight and easy to tow. The Odyssey features a durable black coin rubber floor and is available in various sizes and layouts. 110 volt wiring and thermal pane windows provide all the power and light you'll need to spend the day or the entire weekend on the ice. For more information, visit your favorite retailer or solderbloom.com. Comes one coming up fairly hot. Yep, there he is, got him. It's amazing how you can see that and just know when you're watching these mega live units. You know, one of the things that I think is so cool too is with these new shuttles, oh, nice crappie. Look at that one. Perfect, nice fish. One of the coolest things about these mega live units now is with this new shuttle, I'm running the Humminbird Helix 8 on this one, but with the new shuttle, I've actually got both transducers in the water. I've got a live transducer in the water, and I've got my normal 2D transducer in the water, and with the press of a button, I can flip back and forth. I mean, it's so simple to just hit that button, go over to my flasher in 2D, and then come back to my mag alive, and it is just simple. I'll tell you, at the end of the day, it just gives you the best of every world there's there's no doubt about the fact that i can see everything going on down there below me and then you you tie in that lake master mapping and i'll tell you what you just can't beat it it's mid-January. We're fishing 33 feet of water near the base of a hole. Lindy Rattlin flyer spoons and tungsten toads tipped with minnow heads and wax worms are doing the trick. Air temps are rising through the mid-20s and winds are calm, making for perfect conditions and a hot bite. A little school in here now. It's funny how it'll work. You know, at this time of the year, get into this mid-winter time frame, they're pretty predictable. They're in the holes. You know, the weeds have died off now. But here's the thing about it. You just gotta find where they're roaming through the holes. And this is part of the reason 
that I'm using a spoon with rattles, this rattle and flyer spoon, you wanna grab their attention because now's the time where you're trying to call them from a longer way away. Earlier in the year, they were probably on the shoreline side of every hole. And I know that's where I'm gonna start because that's closest to the weeds. By this time of the year, you start getting in a scenario where a lot of these fish, they're roaming all over mid-lake holes. So it's a little bit more complicated to pinpoint exactly where they're gonna be when you start. So ultimately, you wanna use a lure that's gonna call fish to you too, because it's gonna be a little bit tougher to pinpoint that exact spot to drill. So you wanna just keep fish coming through to you. And at this time of the year too, that was a little fish. He was just banging away on it and I missed him anyway. But at this time of the year too, they're just roaming more. They're looking looking for more bait. They're looking all over and, and their, their radius in this hole gets a heck of a lot bigger than it was earlier in the year where they were on the spots that were you know more adjacent to shorelines. There he is, got him. Had a feeling we were gonna stick one of these fish. There were just too many of them there. That was a case where I dropped the spoon right back down into them too. And you know, sometimes that'll make a difference. You know, we always think of fish and crappie super high and up above them. That time, I went right down into them. That's a good fish right there. Look at him. Awesome crappie. Man, I'll tell you, it's a great opportunity. Midwinter crappies. But do the one-two punch deal that we've been doing because it'll help you out. It'll make a big, big difference. Go into it knowing that you're going to have to fish aggressive to get some of them. And some of them, you're going to have to fish subtle. And if you do that and you're set up for both scenarios, I'll tell you what, crappies like that are going to be loaded up in the pail and you're gonna have a lot of these bites all to yourself because so many people are focused on walleyes right now that they're missing this bite. This is a lot of fun. It's a great fish. That was some fun crappie fishing right there. Hey, before we go today, I wanna to tell you a little bit about a couple of products that I use. Number one is this Nomad UTV topper. They come in a couple different configurations. You can get them in a full box or this low profile. They're all aluminum, they're lightweight. And I tell you what, they are built to handle anything you throw at them. Check them out at nomadmn.com. And then up on the front of my machine, see my Jaws of Ice auger carrier. Here's the thing that's great about the Jaws of Ice. It fits perfect on my snowmobiles. I use it on my side-by-side -side and I use it on my four-wheeler as well. Simple in and out system with the clamps. So you know that the auger's not gonna go anywhere. It's good and secure, but on top of that, it's easy to use. Check them out at jawsofice.net. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Be sure to check back next week for another great episode of John Thielen's Destination Fish. Closed captioning has been brought to you by l and Fleet Supply.